Kevin, uh, a point today from a trip to Topfield, Hitchin Town. Um, it's the first point in a long time for Hitchin, but I think potentially the uh, arrival of a new manager here might have given them a little bit of a bounce and a little bit of, you know, obviously there's something for them to, to battle for there today. And um, ultimately quite hard work that game. Yeah, it was. I don't think the conditions are uh, easy to play in. I think, that, you know, there's, you know it's, it's green out there and it's fairly flat, but um, yeah, you know, the blustery conditions, it's quite hard out there. And if you didn't settle the ball quickly, it, you know, it's not the easiest to pass the ball really quickly on. And unfortunately, you get that at this generally at this time of, se of the season. I know we've had, some, you know, a lot of rain, but it's, it's quite hard out there. And as you see, there's not a lot, a lot of grass kicking up. Um, yeah, like, I think, you know, the, the new manager coming in for them has obviously given them a lift. And, and then, you know, the, the strike that they take the lead from is a, is a terrific strike. And um, I think it's, you know, probably the only sh shot they've had on target all game, but credit to them, you know, it's a, gr it's a great finish. We put ourselves on the back foot uh, and we've come out then and, you know, had a goal and um, obviously the second phase from the, from the free kick for ourselves to go and equalise is a good moment to work the target like we did and follow up and be bright and, and anticipate that moment is really good. Um, I think we managed the ball well in the second half, I thought we were a better side. Uh, certainly ball management wise and we're comfortable in the game and um, yeah I just think you know when you've got to go and find a, a moment at the top end that was probably the one thing that eluded us today. Sure um, just thinking about you mentioned the goal there and I suppose what struck me is it we didn't know whether the goal had gone to Byron Moore or in Pendley I believe Byron's claimed it but there was a hunger there from both of those players to follow up and get that. And there was a very business-like response to that. And it, it felt from that point onwards, maybe almost the way it happened at Alverchurch the, the, the other night, that they, they might kick on from there, but it didn't quite happen. No, and, you know, credit to, to Hitchin. They might have made life difficult for us. They're scrapping and battling and, you know, a good crowd uh, with them today. Um, so, yeah, you know, they haven't made it easy for us at all. And I don't think any of the games that they've, you know, they've lost, the, you know, I think other than with the exception of probably the last one, they played... Leamington and got beat by a few. Um, they've always been in games and, and shown that they, you know they are a capable side and they've, they've been on a difficult period. And at some stage that has to change. And clearly, you know, lifted by bringing a couple of new players in and a new, new manager. Um, and our lads have got to manage and handle that situation along with the conditions today. Like I say, that weren't easy. It was blustery and not easy to defend if you allowed the ball to bounce. Um, but I thought the you know the athleticism that we showed. Um, it, throughout the second half and you know we've managed the ball really well and we've you know we're the ones that are trying to string phases of play together and and, and work moments and situations Hitchin were very much playing on the counter and I guess that's probably where you, even though we're away from where you'd expect it to be looking at either size league position um but yeah it's yeah a little bit disappointing that we haven't gone and found another moment another chance another opportunity but it's what pleases me is it's certainly not for the one to try and and and, and you know lads again giving giving 100 percent You've had to make, uh, well, you made one change today, um, but a slightly short bench because of injuries and, and perhaps amongst those absentees, one or two players who, who probably would be in your in your thoughts for the your first choice 11 if you're able to pick it. So, um, I mean, that, that's clearly a disappointment not being able to pick them, but again, it's something else that you've got to manage and, and it gives the opportunity for the players to step up. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, players have gone in today and, and you know, everyone's worked really, really hard. But, you know, certainly from being critical, yeah, there are one or two moments where, like I say, just from a game understanding perspective and maybe, you know, finding that little bit of quality at certain times, we can improve on, definitely. But um, it's pleasing that, you know, there's 11 lads out there to, to start with that have given 100% um, and continue to give 100%. And, you know, even, you know, the guys that get off the bench are, are still there and still trying to drive us on and find that moment. And, um, yeah, it's, it's nice when you've got a, you feel you've got a change room where everyone is working hard for one another. You're to the Easter weekend now. Uh, a bit of an intense period, two games in four days uh, with uh, Good Friday against Redditch. Um, they won't be going into it on the, uh, the best of form, having, I think it's they'll have lost their third game in a row today. But again, you won't be reading too much into that. They've, they're clearly their league position shows that they're, you know, a good side and um, and nothing to be taken for granted. The, the same way as it was against Hitchin today. Absolutely. You know, they've had a, had a tremendously consistent season. Um, yeah, you know, I'm very much very respectful of, of uh, you know what, what they're capable of doing. Um, they're not in and around the playoff spots for no reason, and uh, we need to be mindful and need to be understanding of that. And you know, every side 
uh, can go through periods in, in, in the season when they're not hitting full form or getting the results perhaps their um, performances deserve. And we've been through that ourselves and, and had to change and evolve and uh, try to improve and understand. Um, so, yeah, it, you know, it's going to be a really tough game. I think, you know, we played them early, very early on in the season and, and in that game, you know, uh, I think we've got ourselves in a good position and on a on a difficult 3G surface that's not easy to play on, but went about our business in, in the right way and you know probably should have should have taken all three points that night. We don't, um, but they, you know they're the challenges you face through the course of the season. And, uh, you know they are stubborn and resilient and and, and difficult to beat. Um, so yeah, we, you know we're, we're understanding it, it'll be a tough game next Friday, but you know at home and, and hopefully with a, with a good following there and on a bank holiday, you know hopefully it can be a game that we. Uh, you know, can return to winning ways. Sure. And I guess perhaps the position that you're in and there might be a few fans looking at today's result and feeling a bit disappointed that it's not, you know, they're not taking more from it. But I guess the higher you get in the league, it's you don't have any fewer problems, you just have different problems. And of course, the, the problem that you have now is some of the expectation that's been created and, and, and managing that. Yeah, that, and for me, that you know, that's a good thing. It, it kind of shows that we are by and large doing the right things. Everybody will have an opinion about, you know, who should play and, and uh, you know, the formations and whatever else. And that's fine, you know, and we understand that. And that's the beauty of football. But, but certainly over, a, you know, a fairly sustained period now, you know, the lads have been uh, very consistent and, and worked incredibly hard. I don't think it's a game, you, you know, for quite a good long while where you couldn't say that you know there hasn't been that high level of application from all the players and I appreciate you know there are certain moments where you know we we can show more quality in certain areas and and, and if we're able to do that then clearly you know we, we, we put more points on the board but we have to understand and again always try to keep everything in perspective about where we've started out and, and where we are at the moment um, and yeah, you know, we're still on that journey and, and still trying to improve and still trying to, you know, tease a little bit more out of players and help them understand and grow in their games. And uh, yeah, I think it's, like I say, I think we are still progressing and it's important that that remains the case from now until, you know, however long the season lasts for us. Just a final word as well. Um, loan deadline, I think, is on Thursday. Is there any possibility of, of anything happening before then? Um, yeah, potentially. Um, again, you know, going back to what we said earlier, players have worked to a really consistent level and are mindful of, you know, trying to bring the right players into the group. And, and um, yeah, that's, that, that, is, that is a challenge, like I say, because they have been very consistent. And, yeah, there's, you know, lads that hopefully will get back from injury before the end of the season. You know, Sam's been a big player for us. Nathan's been a big player. Ricardo's been a big player. You know, there's three big players there for us that we were out today. And you, you'll say, you know, and every team gets injuries, they do. Um, but losing, you know, such influential players at this stage of the season and for probably as, as long as we have is, is, is tough for any side and squad to get over. But, um, you know, the other lads have got in there and dug in there and still been able to pick up results. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's a, it's, it's a good learning curve for all of us and, and an understanding of the situation we find ourselves in and, you know, how we, how we get ourselves uh, to the end of the season and hopefully, you know, within a playoff campaign. Kevin, appreciate your time as always. Thanks very much. Thank you.